Okay, this is gonna be me putting together a whole bunch of things. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna finish off with Hero because I need to finish every single one of the free time events to actually complete this, which I realized I wasted a whole bunch of my trip tickets doing Hina last time. I'd like to do it to Hero, let's spend time together. So right now I'm gonna concentrate on finishing up with Hero, then using the trip tickets. Okay, let me get my free time shit back up well? here so I can finish off with them. I think I'm on holiday, so it should be better. Free time events. Hopefully it takes me to the first Danganronpa one. Good. All I have left is Hero to finish off. So he likes a bunch of stuff here. Alright. Yes, definitely. What would I give him? Well, it depends on what I have. Do I have a crystal skull, I wonder? I have no idea. Uh, like the crystal skull, a golden airplane. Do I have a meteorite arrow? Uh, uh, I don't know the numbers here. That's the problem, I think. Damn it, I don't have that, so let's work down. So what about Sacred Tree Spring? Or the Prince Shook something globe. Prince... Oh, I have two of these. Good. Whoa! Such mysterious power! This is a true blue... Ooh... part. <laughs> Koto, the dawn of a new era draws near. Alright, what's this guy here? Yo. I'm surprised how well you and me get along, Makoto. Seems like we hang out all the time these days. Is that a bad thing? Hmm. So let's see which one I'm at with this one here. We hang out, spend some time, spend some time with the hero. What do we got here? Where is this? Okay, I'm on free time event four, so I'll have two left of this. Oh no, not at all. Since we're such good friends, can I ask you something? <laughs> Wait, I totally realized something just now. Completely out of nowhere. I feel like I'm about to see the performance of a lifetime. Well? Say, Makoto, have you been feeling down in the dumps? No energy, no spark? Huh, you think so? You know? Oh, you don't have to hide it from me. I know what it's like. I've been there. And you know what I'd recommend? Hmm. This! What is it? You know? A crystal ball. Okay, and? Hmm. Just hold on to it for a second. Here, here. Completely against my will, Hero shoved the crystal ball into my hands. Well? What do you think? Nice and cool to the touch. Feels good, doesn't it? Actually, yeah. Hmm. You can feel its power, can't you? Hmm, I do feel it. How about that? It's the ancient power of our timeless Mother Earth! Serious. See, that crystal ball has quite the history. It was found in the ruins of Atlantis. It is literally a priceless, one-of-a-kind artifact. This precious item grants enormous power to whoever holds it, bringing prosperity and peace of mind. This very ball has known the touch of Napoleon, George Washington, and even Genghis Khan. I think that's probably the single most unbelievably unbelievable thing I've ever heard. Hmm. Well, I'd like to give it to you as a present. In return, I'd like you to come with me to a little seminar when we get out of here. And don't worry. I'll see about getting a discount on your entry free, because that's what friends do. That's really nice of you and all, but I'm not sure I'm really interested. How about that? Sorry, the crystal ball has already acknowledged you as its proper owner. It wants to stay with you. It needs to stay with you. It's given itself to you. So now you've got to keep your promise. You don't want to know what that thing does to Oathbreakers. <laughs> okay, I'm counting on you, pal. If he's going to take back the crystal ball, hero hurried away. I could hear him mumbling to himself. I caught something about finally made my quota. Really hope I heard him wrong. Oof, that's not good. Crystal prediction, eh? So I had to go back to my room for a while because I have an additional free time, which brings me to almost finishing up, but not just yet. Not just yet. Almost there, though. So, let's do this one. Then I gotta do more mono mono making. I don't know, I just called it that. Hmm. All right. It's not. Yeah, yeah. We don't care, hero. Yay! Definitely not really, but okay. Let's find that globe thing. Where? Golden crystal skull. Oh shit! I have crystal skull. Bam. That makes sense. Yes, I'm giving it to you. <laughs> this is getting serious, man. How are we gonna get out of here? The world is so big, so freaking huge, and we've all been stuffed in this one tiny little corner. I guess even Hero's starting to get stressed out by all this. Uh, um... Can we talk man to man? 
I haven't told anyone else, but I need to get this off my chest. Huh? What is it? Hmm. There's a big reason why I'm so anxious to get out of here. A big reason? <laughs> I'm super worried, man! I'm afraid someone's gonna bust into my house and steal my collection! What collection? How about that? I've been surfing black markets and black chat and back channels to build a huge collection of ooh parts! Huh? No reaction. Wait, don't tell me you don't know what about ooh parts. You know, ooh parts, out of place artifacts. Stuff they find in the ruins of ancient civilizations, but with no explanation how it could have got there. The crystal skulls, the golden airplanes of Colombia, the Baghdad battery, just to name a few. What the heck? But ooh parts can be more than just artifacts. For example, I definitely classify the famous ge geoglyphs of South America as Uparts. In the South American geoglyphs, and I already see it's the Nazca. Because I see everything here. Those are called the Nazca lines, right? Whoa! You got it, Ace! Why Ace? Yo! Plenty of museums and research centers claim to have all those different Uparts, but you see... Well? Here's the shocking truth. For all of them, the real deal is at my house. Did I shock you? Did the truth slam to your soul like in the asteroid that wi wi wiped out the dinosaurs? you have all the stuff at your house? Hmm. Yep, got it mostly through the internet. It's more valuable to me than anything. It's gotta be the world's biggest sucker. <sighs> I've invested every penny I have into that collection, which is why I'm so worried. If that stuff gets stolen while I'm gone, it'd just be the most tragic tra tragic tragedy. You know what, I, what I've had to go through to get that stuff? Why do you think I got held back? Like, you know, three or four years. Huh? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing. Forget about that last part. Okay. Anyway, everything I've read is that when you really do serious research on those artifacts, most times they end up finding out that there's a perfectly normal explanation for them. What the heck? Don't be stupid, you stupid Makoto. I think it's a government cover-up. They want to hide the ancient aliens and the secrets of the universe. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. So tell me again how much you hate the occult. How about that? This isn't the occult. It's about aliens and ancient civilizations living together. Yes, it's possible. I don't think there's anything I could say to change his mind. But apparently that's good. Yay, alright, so I guess with this, I will meet you at the next and final hero and the final free time event. So bye. I'm actually getting very, getting very close to building this next one. Anyways, the last hero free event. Then I got a whole bunch of trip stuff to record eventually when I get to their thing. That's why I'm going to have to constantly save, I think, if I want to do it properly. Well, You want to go grab a bite to eat in the dining hall? I'll teach you where all the best power spots are. Crap. Let's finish off with Hero. Yes, definitely. I guess I'll give him a crystal skull or something. Doesn't really matter now. I don't need to give anything else to anyone. There's a crystal skull. Yeah. Oh my god, it's such mysterious. <laughs> Woo. Makoto, you ready for me to tell you your fortune? I told you I'm done with that. Hmm. Come on, don't be like that. This one's on me. Free of charge, no money down. That just makes me even more suspicious. Yo! I'll be waiting for you in my room. Meet me as soon as you can. I'm super skeptical. Skeptical. But I can't just ignore him. I guess I'd better just go ahead and get this over with. I'll have to be on my guard. This could be another one of his traps. Considering how he's been up till now, there's no way I can believe he'd do anything for free. Against my better judgment, I headed to Hero's room. Yo, yo, yo! Yo, Makoto! Welcome! Thanks. Hmm. Listen. Before we get to the reading, I have a little favor to ask. I knew it. Forget it. I'm out of here. I was right to be skeptical. <sighs> no, man. I'm for super serious this time. Uh, I mean, I really am serious. I want to talk to you about a problem I'm having. A problem? Actually... I listen to everyone else's problems all day, right? But who do I have to talk to? Friends? Nope. I mean, I literally have no friends. Jeez, I figured he didn't have many friends, but none at all. You know? This is the first time I felt like there was someone I could talk to, could share my problems with. Hero. Okay, if you don't mind telling me, I don't mind listening. <laughs> Thanks! You know? So you remember I told you how I got held back a few times, right? Yeah, you mentioned that. We're serious? Well, there's kind of a serious reason for that. There is? Hmm. Someone's after me. Someone's after you? Who? What did you do? D don't no, look at me! I, what makes you think I did anything? I just got dragged into it. I had an appointment come in. The daughter of some rich upper management type guy. Maybe I pressured her a little to pull on her entire life savings. Pull out. Well, when her dad found out, he went ape poop. And it turned into a whole legal thing. <sighs> and it turns out this Mr. Richie Rich guy is just so happy to have ties to the mob. So then I had these super scary gangsters coming after me. You tried to run? Hey, yeah, but on. they caught up to me, of course. They tried to force me to pay them. 
well, more than I could afford, so I stuck my way into Hope's Peak. The instant I leave the school, they're gonna come for my guts. Black market organs are huge in demand. I love my organs, I don't want to give them to someone else. Help Here's me. the deal, sell me some of your organs on the cheap, and I can resell them at the market price. Please. Just one? One's all I need. Please. Okay, fine, sell me your identity. Those are pretty valuable these days. What the heck? Ah, you're so selfish. Be honest, you used that money to buy those artifacts of yours, didn't you? What? Uh, how'd you know? I remember you mentioning how expensive that stuff was. What else could it be? Uh -huh. oh, wait, you're not suggesting I sell my oopars, are you? Why not? That makes the most sense, doesn't it? If you can't bear to do it yourself, I'll help you. Don't be mean! No, 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 no! No freaking way! That collection is all I have in life! How could you even suggest such a terrible thing? You're a cool man, Makoto Naegi. You call it terrible, but... How about that? That's enough. Forget I ever asked. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get out of here. Even if it means demolishing my life savings. Wait, you have life savings? Hey. Tch, so now you know. I figured if I sold your organs, I wouldn't have to dip into my retirement fund. What the hell is wrong with you? What? Okay, I've had it. If you're, if you're not gonna give me your organs or your identity, you could just get out. Hero angrily sent me away and I was glad to go. In the end, I think I'm better off having talked to him about talked to him about all this. If nothing else, I got to know him a lot better. I learned I to never let my guard down around him. Could what he have describe could what we have be described as a kind of friendship? Uh yeah. Six nonsense and Mr. Know It All. So I have now cleared every single free time event. Hooray. Hooray, hooray, hooray. The only thing I'm gonna need right now is the school mode. Um this guide. is a school announcement. I know, typing while recording. Anyways, I'll meet you guys when I actually finish off the rest of the stuff. How about that? I'll see you then. All right, it's a good thing I saved before this because I had actually gotten the thing. Though I had actually done it wrong, which is a good thing. I saved it and now I'm gonna record it. Because the happy heart, I need to negation it and I accidentally affirmation it. Okay. So let's go to the library. I guess it doesn't really matter where I go. Anyways, it should happen. I never expect what's gonna happen anymore, but anyways. Huh? Kyoko seems to be lost in thought, but... Why? Huh? That voice, could it be? Are these Kyoko's inner thoughts? Alright. I don't need to affirm, I need to negate. Okay, I need to change it here. Negation. Why am I here? Why am I stuck in this incomprehensible situation? Now is no time for me to be getting swept away. I can hear the impatience whispering in my ear. I know it's real, but... We have things right now. There's nothing I can do. Wrong! No, that's wrong! Of course there's something you can do. Maybe you can't do anything. That's no reason to feel so impatient, is it? Is it wrong? Is it so wrong to just wait patiently for the right opportunity? In other words... Are you saying that for now? I need to just wait and bide my time? Correct. Listen to you trying to encourage me. I wouldn't have expected... Such arrogance. Such what? Did I make you mad? <laughs> no. Not mad exactly. Anyway... Yeah, that's the good thing. I, that's the good one I did. Alright. What you were trying to say has been properly conveyed. Looks to me like she had a really good time. <laughs> I had no reason to believe I'd have this much fun with you. In fact, I think I was able to clear up something that had been hanging over my heart for a while. Not that I could say for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. <laughs> well then, should we head back? And that one is done now. And I will meet you at any more of those that I see, so I'm gonna do a lot of small recordings. Well, I didn't get with Junko, but it looks like I got Hina's again, so I kind of skipped that one a little bit, her text, so let's read it. What happened? Why did Hina get so quiet all of a sudden? Um, huh? That voice, could it be? Are these Hina's inner thoughts? I mean, I guess I kind of did it. Alright, so affirmation, swim like crazy. Affirmation. Gah. I can't control my body anymore. I want to swim. I want to swim. I'm super. I super duper want to swim. I want to do a lap around the world. I want to swim like crazy. Oh! I got it. I already did this one by my well to get some material because Junko didn't have one for some reason. It's okay, Hina. Huh? Huh? What's okay? It's 
only natural to want to go and do what you're go good at. It's okay. You can tell me how you feel. Huh? Makoto, Haki has such perfect timing. How'd you know? Yeah! But that does make me feel better. <laughs> okay, are you ready to do a lap around the world? Wait, no. Let's use this momentum to do a lap around the galaxy! I'm not sure I can follow you that far. To me, like she's had a really good time. Right then. You got it! And she had so much fun and mm. blah blah yeah, that's so, stuff. Uh, and so that means I'll meet you at whatever ha comes next then, I guess. What's going on? Looks like Takas lost in thought. Hmm. Huh? Voice, could it be? Are these Takas inner thoughts? Oh, I, I need to get to my window thing for it. I don't need to record these things, but I feel like I will. Just sort of for the heck of it. Affirmation is a fair of me. Alright, let's go. Affirmation is what I need. I love that. It's easier. Even when you confide in people, it doesn't solve anything. But still, i just like someone to listen. But whenever I do start talking... I just have a force of my own... Oh wow, that's too fast. Is it fair? Is it fair? Yes, it is. There, that's the I good one. Yeah, I'm getting kind of far in with Taka now. What's wrong with that? <gasps> what are you talking about? You don't have to think of it like you're forcing anything on anyone. Try thinking of it like you're just telling me about yourself. That's all I want. What? Makoto! What is this? I can't tell you how much that means to me. Honestly, I really appreciate it. But, but still. Taka? You hear me? What I'm haunted by. It's not the kind of thing where I tell you a story about myself. There's an ending and that's it. The things I want to say. It's just me pointlessly droning on about how I think and feel. I was going on and on about my values and morals without any real point to it. But if you're the person listening, isn't that just one giant nuisance? If they're your friend, it's not a nuisance at all. To me, a friend is someone who can accept that kind of thing. Don't you think so? What? What is- I, for everything I've learned up till now, what have I been missing out on? Listen, Makoto, it's okay. Would you mind being that kind of person, so I can talk to once in a while? Of course, it would be my pleasure. What's I mean? Looks like... Looks to me like he had a really good time. And... I shall meet you at another one. <laughs> we spent some very meaningful time together. Every day should be more like this. A day like today will never come around again. But then again, no two days are really ever the same. Well, I'll never forget the time I spent with you. We have to live each day to its fullest. You hear me? Okay, I better get back to my room. Come on, Makoto. And that concludes Taka's uh, trigger happy heart moment. I'll see you in the next one. Well, Toko's came fast, and I'm almost done with some of the first uh, trigger happy heart moments. I'm getting close to the end and constructed everything, so I should be able to do this in good timing, I think. I'll see how I arrange everything anyway. Uh oh. I need to get to her thing first, though. What is she like here? It is. Oh, there's also. Oh, God, there's also for Genocide Jack and Toko. God damn it. Okay. Negation pointless expectations. Huh? Toko seems to be lost in thought, but. Huh? huh? That voice. Could it be? Are these Toko's inner thoughts? Yeah, I don't have to show these, but I will. Just to show I've done them. I need to negate. Make sure I choose negate. Negation. There we go. Why? Why is Bakoto spending so much time with me? Sorry about the voice. Does he have some kind of ulterior motive? He better not. You look happy about it, though. Or could it be something else? Hmm, I don't understand. He's making me he's making me start have all kinds of pointless expectations. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Of course it's wrong. I don't think it's pointless at all. <laughs> then what, what the is heck? this? You say us spending time together this isn't pointless. So what are you planning to do to me? I'm not planning to do anything. I just want us to both understand each other better. I've gone to learn more about Genocide Jack too. I want to become someone you can depend on. I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't want to depend on you. I don't want us to understand each other better. Anyway. See, like I said, it's pointless. I don't think you can decide that just yet, can you? 
I'm gonna keep on looking for a way. Huh? What are you? Fine. Someday. Maybe you can just sh show me what it is you can do for me. Looks to me like she had a really good time. <laughs> I know that I have that much fun with you. For who you are, you're doing a pretty good s so far. Where'd you learn those <laughs> techniques anyway, you indecent boy? Well, anyway, we should get going. What's Just so you problem? know, if you take me home and try anything there, I'll scream bloody murder. No, I won't try, Toko. Well, I'm at Leon's Trigger Happy Heart, so I might as well record it since I'm here. Happened to my thing that's so quiet all of a sudden. Ah, damn it. Huh? That voice. Could it be? Well, let me just at least get my browser up so I can see what I'm doing. These are their thoughts. Negation. Keep it hidden from everyone until it's all over, basically. Okay. I know what I, I told everyone. I said I was going to become a famous musician. Right now, I don't give a crap about music. After all this time, I just want to play baseball. I never thought I'd, it, that it'd be possible, but... Man, I'm so uncool right now. I just freaking pitiful. And I don't even have the balls to tell anyone. All I can do is keep it hidden from everyone till it's all over. Negation. No, that's wrong. No, you don't, Leon. You don't have to keep anything hidden. What? Whatever you want to do, or what you want to say, keeping it up, bottled up, doesn't help anyone. You know what I mean. Really? But wouldn't everyone think I was a total idiot if I told them how I really felt? I'm sure they'd see how important it was to you. No one would call you an idiot. No one would laugh. Uh, oh. Koto, thank you. <laughs> Not that I made a decision on one way or the other, but still, I feel better. Heh. <laughs> it's like me and he, he had a really good time. And then that's the end of Leon's. <laughs> Damn, man, that was a blast. Hey, listen. Felt feels kind of weird, having so much fun in a creepy place like this. It's not normal, no matter how you put it. Yeah! Screw the details. I had fun. That's all that matters. Okay, let's head back. And that completes Leon's, and therefore, I shall see you whenever it is the next point of it. <laughs> That I do this now with Chihiro. Just gotta get to the screen. Huh? Chihiro seems to be lost in thought, but actually, I need my browser up because I need to know what I'm supposed to click here for her, her his thing, not her, his. Alright, negation. Alright, I got it. What should I do? Huh? What voice could it be? Is Chihiro's inner thoughts? Yes, they are. Negation, we use. On Chihiro. What should I do? I just don't know. I want to change. I know that, but I'm just so scared. I believe in Makoto, but will he really accept me? Most likely. Everyone's gonna hate me. They're all gonna think I'm awful. That's wrong. No, that's wrong! I mean, I guess I could have guessed that one. Why would I affirm think I'm awful? Why would you ever think that? Nobody's gonna think you're awful. Huh? Really? The idea that we would hate you or look down on you for something you were obviously so upset about. There's no way. If there's something causing you this much worry, then that's what we should hate, don't you think? Um... Makoto, I'm not trying to force you or anything, but... Think talking to me will help you feel better? Then please don't hesitate. Thank you, Makoto. I think just hearing you say that is good enough for me now. You've given me a lot of courage, honest. Uh, so if something happens and I lose that courage, it's okay if I come to talk to you again. Of course, anytime you want. Looks like me and she had a really good time. Well, he. But I guess we don't know yet. Um. Huh? Wow, is it already this late? Makoto, um, I don't know what to say. Thank you. For spending so much time with me. You know? I want you to come see me again. I want to spend as much time with you as possible. 
Sorry. Anyway, we should get going. There we go. So that's another one down that I shall meet you at the next thing. Well, I'm at Hifumi's thing, so let's check this out. What happened? Why did Hifumi get so quiet? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Huh? That voice, could it be? Are these Hifumi's inner thoughts? Alright. So I gotta affirm with something here with him. Hmm, hmm, hmm. He's reacting. Are you doing? Oh my god. His sixth sense is pinging like crazy. Are you doing that implying thing? He just might. If he has the support of Makoto, he with the mandate handed down from the gods. What the hell is with this one? That's a weird one. The talent you have, only you have it, Hufumi. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to flatter me so much. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean anything weird. Yes, indeed. You don't have to apologize, Mr. Naegi. My talent is given to me by the gods, absolutely. But there's more to it than just having the talent. I've mastered that talent and learned how to harness it in a proper way. So it's... If you're given powers and use it improperly, if you use it to do evil in the world, however brave or strong you may be, you'll be destroyed and never stand again. <laughs> no, it's thanks to Princess Pickles too. <laughs> well, Mr. Naegi, naturally I give the princess thanks for showing me the way all this time. Looks like me and... Looks like me... Looks to me like he had a really good time. There you go. To fool me. Well, hello. We certainly got fired up today, didn't we? I'm amazed at how much fun we had together, Mr. Naegi. It was most unexpected. Without a doubt. It's rare sir, for someone to exceed my expectations, you know. I eagerly await our next opportunity to deepen our friendship. <laughs> for now, let's re us return. All right, you know how it goes. I meet you in the next one. It's heroes' time to shine, kind of. All right, here we go. What happened? Why did hero get so quiet all of a sudden? Why? Huh? What could it be? Are these heroes' inner thoughts? I don't know, I keep reading that every time. Trigger happy heart. Oh shit, I need to actually look up what it is. Hold on a second. Trigger happy heart. Affirm. Why? Why is this happening to me? My life's been filled with all this supernatural level stuff lately. It's not really possible, right? I'm a fortune teller, but I only... I totally hate the occult. But anyway, I came here. It was my one chance to get closer to him. It's, it's time for me to get on my hands and knees and beg for him to help me. That's a weird thing to do with. Hmm. Hero, are you worried about something? Actually, um, kinda yeah. How'd you know? It just looked like you were lost in thought. Yo! Oh, gotcha. Well, I can depend on you, man. Are serious? Okay, well, I'm kinda in the middle of a life or death situation. I mean, things are bad in here, but if I get out, things are gonna get even worse. So I need your body. <laughs> Please! Oh no, I need your power. That's fine, whatever I can do to help. Wait a Yo. minute. Thank you, Makoto. I won't forget this. I'll explain all the details later. We already know the details. I've just been up more than I can chew. It's to me like I had a really good time. Uh, yeah, he wants to sell my organs. <laughs> man, that was fun. Always have a blast hanging out with you, man. All like, oh, that was hanging over my spiritual horizon is totally lifted. Are serious? Right now my axiom might go up to 30, or even maybe, or maybe even 40. You know? Okay, we should head back. Come on, let's walk and talk. Uh huh. Well, I don't know how I feel about that. Anyways, see you in the next one, as usual. You know, a while back I figured that I was gonna stop, uh, you know, what am I thinking? Recording these parts, but since I did it for the majority of the characters, I decided to just do it in the end. So here we go with Sakura's inner thoughts. I'm going to have to affirm he accepts me. Alright. Makoto. At first, I deemed him an unworthy training partner. But now I... You have a limited time for this, by the way. 
I want to believe in him. No matter what I tell him. This is a bad Sakura imitation though. Sakura. If he, he accepts me for it. Affirmative! Of course I do. The only time I see consent in this game. Because it doesn't exist in the main one. If there's anything you want to talk about, you can tell me, no matter what it is. But what do you mean? I might not always be able to understand the burden you're carrying, but... But I can still listen to you. Whatever it is, giving up without doing anything doesn't help anyone. I'm sorry. Makoto. I suppose I caught you unaware. I'm sorry for all of this. No, you don't have to apologize. However... Please, I feel like I have to. I won't get past it. But you know, you're so mysterious. For some reason, I have no doubt... That no doubt that you mean what you say. <laughs> Someday, I'll open up to you. I know that's selfish of me to say, but please just wait. Looks like sh she had a really good time. <laughs> Thank you for everything today, Makoto. The time we spent together it really means a lot to me. Perhaps. If you don't mind, could we do it again sometime? I'd like to talk with you more. I think maybe. So then. Anyway, we should get going. Oh, man, imagine, you know, being her boyfriend or something. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one, of course. Um. It is time to deal with Sayaka's internal conflict, so let us start with it. As usual, hearing Sayaka. That voice, could it be? Oh, no. At least Sayaka's there thoughts. All right, I missed the first part. Whatever. Let's do the Trigger Happy Heart event. Let's do... Negation. All right, here we go. That's what I have to do. What should I do? Makoto, he's someone I know I can trust completely. But sometimes he can be a little too nice. Uh-oh, he's a nice guy. If I, we get too close, I'll just end up being a nuisance. No, you will not be. No, that's wrong. There we go. Counter it, Makoto. Be a man. Of course you're not a nuisance. Huh? Sure, maybe hearing the truth or learning something about someone might change things, but I would never ever consider that a nuisance. Hi, Makoto. Makoto. I want you to talk to me anytime about anything. Don't even hesitate. Okay. <laughs> you really are a wonderful person, aren't you? Thank you, Makoto. Um, listen. I'm not ready right now, but when the time comes, please listen to what I have to say. Definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. So am I. Looks like V looks to me like she had a really good time. Indeed. I'm almost done this, man. <laughs> I had so much fun today. Thank you. But it's more than just fun. When I'm with you, I feel like I can relax. Um, what about you, Makoto? I really hope you feel the same way. Hey, um, well, please invite me out again sometime. It's a promise, okay? Anyway, we should probably get back. And of course, as per usual... Oh boy, I didn't mean to do it that way, though. I shall see you... Well... Um, and the it's next one. Announcement. So someone like Celestia is a little bit hard to do. I've been having to reload her save. I, yes, I'm save scumming right now because it's just easier to do it that way. Okay, let's go with Celeste right now. Huh? Celeste is really lost in thought, but... Huh? Uh-oh. Uh Could it be... Yes, inner thoughts. Oh shit, I need to actually prepare the inner thought thing here. Uh... Stam affirm. I, I like affirm. It's easy. Is now a good time for it? In my t awful Celeste voice. But. Just. To just bring it up in, out of nowhere? He. Will he think I'm weird? No. Haha. <laughs> Makoto seems like he's definitely C rank material. Oh god. But after that... Once I've achieved my dreams, reached my goals, hit my quota in life... Could he be the type of person who can just stand by my side? Yes, I can! I got it. Consent with Celeste! Wait... I know, that joke's probably made so much... I think I can. I can stand by your side. They don't think like, what? You say you think, and then you say you can. So, which is it? Are you confident or not? I am! Oh! Well, and do you have any actual reason to be confident? <laughs> no, it is you. Of course you don't. A reason? 
I just think helping you work hard toward your dream would be a lot of fun. <laughs> you mean a bunch of men's man slaves? Okay. Is that right? Well, if you are truly committed, then I am prepared to accept that commitment. She didn't sound any different than normal, but somehow she seemed happy. Looks to me like she had a really good time. At least I got this out of the way, like, early, so I don't have to record the other ones if I get it. May I be honest with you? I had a lot of fun with you today. This is fine. Listen, Makoto, do you think we could do this again sometime? Please feel free to talk to me whenever you feel like it. As for me... Is that okay with you? I don't usually talk this openly, do I? <laughs> anyway, shall we head back? That was awful, that voice. I don't know why I even bothered, but you know the drill. I shall see you in the um, next Trigger Happy Havoc moment. A school announcement. You know what the good thing about these events are? I get a full heart if I get it right, which um, reminds me I should get the right answer in the browser here. Laugh at me negation. Give me a break. Uh-oh, could it be his inner thoughts? I need to negate that I'm not going to laugh at him. Why would I? All right. Give me a fucking break. What the hell am I supposed to do? Once I get out of here, what then? Right now I'm the leader of the crazy diamonds, but after that... What am I going to do? What, am I going to go to college? No chance, right? I spent my whole life running wild, causing trouble and fucking shit up. But now I want to do something with my life. I want to make stuff instead of breaking it. But if I told that... Told Makoto that... Uh, I know where it's coming. I bet he'd just laugh at me. Never. No, that's wrong. That is wrong, of course. Why would I laugh at you? I won't laugh at you. What? What the what? hell? Are you, the hell are you talking about? Why would I laugh when I see how serious you are about all of this? You piece of. Shit. <laughs> you don't have to hold back, man. I'm not holding anything back. I think it's amazing how determined you are. Really? Thanks, man. It looks to me like he had a really good time. He's blushing even. That is a bit weird. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but that was a, that was fun as hell. Seriously, I never thought I could have that much fun in here. Thanks for cheering me up, man. Hell yeah. I really appreciate it, man. Oh, okay. We should probably head back, huh? And that means, of course, at this point that I'm recording, only Byakuya is left to do all this um, stuff with. Well, I still have to work on Mondo. Cool it's just that this part to record. That's the only thing I record, and then the rest of it, I skip it until the end, which is coming soon as of this recording thing that I'm doing. But it's all in one video anyway, so it doesn't matter. Bye. I am on the final Trigger Happy Havoc event with Byakuya Tagami. So, let us go see what his dialogue is. So, I need to affirm something here, which is good. So dull. Huh? That voice, could it be? We know the drill. His last, his inner thoughts and the last one for the game. I need to affirm, which is easy, of course, because it's the first one I get. Makoto is an exceedingly dull boy. From everything he's told me, from the expectations he set for himself, I have not a single shred of interest in him. This is clear to me now. He doesn't even comprehend that he and I live in a different in different worlds. Yeah, we do. I have to affirm that. That's a weird thing. You and me do live in different worlds. It's true. Naturally. Why are you telling me what I already know? Are you nervous standing before me like this? No, nothing like that. But so much of the time, I don't understand the things you say. Such. Why ignorance. should you? It's impossible for a commoner to understand the inner workings of a noble. <laughs> it shows a certain wisdom for you to recognize that you can never call yourself my equal. If you see yourself as having a tragic life, then you'll never rise above others. <laughs> do you have what it takes to climb over them? Looks to me like he and I had a really good time. That's a good time? I don't know what you're talking about, Makoto. Hmm. It's grown so late already. <laughs> Look how you've consumed my precious time. Perhaps it was too great of an honor for you. Well, I expect you to make the same effort to earn such an honor next time as well. Let's go. So then, let's go. And then, that was it. 
I shall see you at the finale of school mode where I talk to everyone even though everything's completely recorded out of order. So I may say weird things in the future parts, but hey, that's all I can do for now. Until then. So I've reached the final day finally. Let's see what happens now. The morning of the 51st day arrived, and Monokuma told us to head to the gym. Good morning! Everyone! Quiet down Good and morning! Listen. Well, now. As you should all know, today brings an end to the period of time I promised to you. Phew. But it sure was a long time, huh? You all got up to this and that, that and this. Of course, that's only because you were slacking off instead of focusing on building decent backups. Uh, I was ready to die from boredom. That's the worst way to die than reaching out to grab a salmon, then slipping and tumbling over a waterfall. You were so bored, why don't you just make your own backups? What? What did you say? What did you just say? Now I'm so I'm fucking really angry now! Angry. What? What the hell, man? We totally made you a backup. Hmm. You did? You made this. You created it. You assembled it. To put it more consistently. Oh yeah, it was Monami. This was you? Yeah, this is no Monokuma. It's a stupid pink rabbit. Was this made before? This was made after Danganronpa 2, so it's interesting to have Monami in here. Are you trying to deny my exist my entire existence? I didn't ask you to put your own spin on this. Oh. If you are going to criticize us for our creativity, I would suggest you give us more concrete instructions. So, yeah. Hmm. Seriously. <laughs> it's like you handed us a sketchbook and gave us some very vague specifications, and now you're all mad. Just give Indeed. up. Indeed. If you're going to complain about it, build your own damn backup wherever you see fit. What are you gonna I guess do? I have no choice. The real school life is going to have to start right now. I didn't want to have to do it, but I guess I'm going to have to lift the ban. Um... Lift the ban? On what? <laughs> on something that should make you all work a little harder. Looks like the character I put in front of you isn't working. It's time to put the stick behind you. Um... Are you talking about some kind of punishment? What the well, heck? you guys deserve it, don't you? You didn't satisfy my request even a little bit. Stop You're the around. one who kept demanding all that silly shit. Without all that, we would have been fine. What the heck? Yeah, quit trying to blame it on, blame us for all this. <laughs> blah blah blah. All you want. My mind's made up. <laughs> From this point forward, each time you fail your project review, I will select one of you to be the class representative, and that person will be punished. And punished? What does that mean exactly? In other words. Hmm. Oh well, to put it simply. Bear it! Execution. What? Execution? Surprise, yeah. huh? <laughs> I guess it's time I showed you who's boss. What? Ridiculous! You can't be serious. You can't kill someone for something like that. Well, what? What's the big deal? I just moved the schedule up a little bit. That's all. Huh? Schedule? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> That's that part's still a secret. Now so then. Now, let me just announce who will be punished this time. Huh? What? Huh? You're lying, right? You can't be serious. You're seriously gonna punish us? Of course. Didn't you hear me the first time? What? You got cotton in your ears? Okay then, who should I pick? Yeah. Just kidding, I already know. Today's punishment goes to... Makoto, you're a big boy. What? Hold on a second, you're gonna punish me? How come? Hey, well, um... see, an average useless kid like you either dies first or turns out to be the main character. So this time, let's make you the one that dies first. You can't be serious. Now then. Okay, let's get the show on the road. Wait, this isn't... Why are we... Now then... I prepared a very special punishment for Makoto Nagi, the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> Let's give it everything we got. It's punishment time. Wait. Hold it. Huh? Whoa, shit, huh? I won't forgive you. I won't let this tyranny go on any longer. <laughs> what the? Hey, what's going on now? No fucking the robot way. Made. Did it just? Hey. It moved and talked. What? What is this? Everyone. It's a miracle, is what it is. The miracle everyone hoped and wished for. Monami? Huh? You heard our wishes? Then you're alive? What are you? That's right! I am Usami! Specifically, the amazing messenger from the future miracle, magical miracle girl Usami! Hey, hey! Now listen here, Monokuma. It's time to give up. Yeah. But you're not supposed to show up yet. If you make your entrance now, the timeline's gonna get all... Yeah. No questions allowed! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Taken straight from Danganronpa 2. Okay. I was not prepared for this. Enough already. Hey, knock it off. 
Are you supposed to gonna try and finish me right here? I won't Absolutely! Kya 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 kya! Stop! And now for the coup de grace! You saw me final splash spark! Yeah! Yeah! I've seen this before. Justice always prevails! Oh, this was supposed to happen till the sequel! I hope you've learned your lesson, mister! Stop all this nonsense and let them go! Okay. Here, take it. Do whatever you want. I wonder if my head had something to do. Usami then left it on wobbly legs. Then left on wobbly legs. Huh? What the hell? What, what, what? what did we create, man? Is it gonna go out and destroy the entire human race? You. It's a good question. What are you? Um. Let's see. That's right. I represent the bond you've all created here. Got it? And that bond itself represents a fragment of hope. Hope fragment. Life from each one of you has overlapped, creating me, a road sign leading you to from the future. Everyone! We degrade everyone. <laughs> the future? What do you think? What do you mean by that? Got it? That's not important. And since it's not important, I don't need to tell you. Now put your collective hand out. I have something for you. And what you gave us was the same thing Monokuma had just given her. This is? Oh. Is it some kind of device? Perhaps. I have to guess. I would say it's... That's right! Press that button and the door in the main hall opens up wide. Um... Then... I see! We can leave? Let's do it! Yeah, boy! That's good. I'm so happy. Ah, well... It was a long, well? hard road, but finally. I'm just so glad we all made it here together. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Super awesome. <laughs> so I watched us all celebrate and smile, a smile on her face. I had no idea what Sami really was, but one thing I did know was that she saved us. Which is why I wanted to make it a point to thank her. You saw me, um, thanks for saving us. Boy, oh, you are lies. Got it? Oh, you don't need to thank me. You're the ones who brought me here. And now, from this point on... Huh? Hmm? Actually, never mind. Everyone! Listen, everyone. All the time you spend here together... Got it? All the time you spend building up your hope, your bond, no matter what, don't lose that. Love, love! Don't give in to despair. Please, just do your best. Usami? Yeah. Hey, she just stopped. Hmm. Did she run out of batteries? That can't be. <laughs> we never installed any kind of power supply. Huh? Then how did she move around in the first place? <laughs> Stop talking! This is all totally a cult! Maybe he's right. But no matter what Usami was, she stood up to Monokuma and saved us all. Hmm. It's not always true, however, that the enemy of your enemy is your friend. Hey, listen! Ugh, why do you gotta ruin things every freaking time. Can't you just say nothing and let us enjoy this? Yeah! Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Good idea. Monokuma might change his mind and come back, and then we're all in trouble. Okay. All right, then let's get ready to split. Mm, I was just about to say that. Everyone started getting ready to leave. Meanwhile, I turn back toward Usami one more time. Usami? But there was no reaction at all. It's like everything she'd done before was just a hallucination. Makoto. I gotta get to the, uh... What, what is the key? Okay. Uh, what Sami told us. Hold on. The bond that we created here. Hold on, Kyoko. This is a bond fragment of hope. However... What do you think she meant by that? Uh... I can't be sure, but... I think she meant that the connection we for form to each other is where hope is born. Correct. Our connections are hope? <laughs> to share a connection with one another. That creates a light that can dispel any darkness. Oh, I thought it was... I see. And that light illuminates the road into the future. Is that what you're saying? Okay. The connection between a few people might just be one little fragment, but... <laughs> the more people you bring together, the brighter the fragment can shine. Yeah, I think you're right. Over these last few weeks, we've all gotten something from each other. I know that much for sure. Before we arrived, each of us was a tiny little fragment scattered throughout the world. We each had something we were trying to carry within us alone. We had no idea what, that the consequence of that kind of thing would lead to despair every single time. That's what we learned while we were here, while we, while we worked together hand in hand. All it takes is holding someone's hand in yours, and that despair starts to fade. If it doesn't go away with two people, then three, then three. If that's not enough, you just keep adding more. And now, we're all going to leave here together, just like that. Huh? Junko, is something wrong? No, I'm fine. Oh, it's Junko. Could it be? Oh, you're probably thinking the same thing I am. What is it? Huh? huh? 
once we get out of here, is that we're going to go their separate ways or we stay in touch? I mean, we're all friends now, right? So, Gina. this is not the final farewell. The time we spend here together, the memories we created will always be real. So it was Yeah, seen. Sakura's right. It's too sad for us to part ways. Let's not part ways. <laughs> yeah, we should meet up every once in a while and talk about the good old days. Yay! Ah, that sounds like fun. I see. Yes, what a splendid idea. Ruining old friendship is an excellent way to enrich your life. You know what I mean. But I don't really want to remember anything about this place. Yo. Well, it's not like we got to just sit around and remember the stuff, right? <laughs> anyway, it's, it's still too early to be planning that kind of thing. <laughs> That's true. First, we're out to get out of here. We can each go back to, our, to wherever we came from. That's right. Back. Back to those boring, peaceful, incredible, important days. Incredibly important days. Together with everyone else, that fragment of hope each of us had buried within our hearts. The future born from that hope might have moments of despair. But even so, everything has to begin from there. What do I do with the final endings with people? Ah, uh huh. Maybe I should talk with everyone a little more before we go. So here I am now with this ending once again that I... It's been a while since I've actually been here. And we only have four people, but that's good enough for now. Let's start with Hina. Let's see what this is all about. I decided to talk to Hina one more time before we all left. I wonder if this will be the last time we'll ever see this place. The time we spent here didn't make much sense, but looking back, I can't say I didn't have fun. There's still some mysteries left. What was Monokuma, really? Why'd we end up here? I still don't have the answers, but I'll have time to figure it all out once we escape. <laughs> ah, we can finally leave! Yeah, you're right. But we never found out why this all happened in the first place, huh? Someone tricked us, sure. But why would anyone want to do all this? Yeah! Hmm, oh well. All I care about now is getting out of here and stuffing as many donuts in my fist as I can handle. <sighs> Glazed donuts, jellies donuts, chocolate donuts, bear claws, crullers, berliners, you name it. I'm just gonna eat and eat and eat till I pass out. Pass right out. Haha, <laughs> that's what's co your, got you most excited, huh? 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 Well, what else is there? Oh well, don't you remember what you said? Uh, hold on, there actually is a thing I have to do here, so let me get my... Danganronpa school mode... ...thing going here. Just to make sure. School mode! I don't know if you can say a bad thing, even. Aoi Asahina. Let's see here. Aoi's ending. Weren't you going for the gold? That's what it is. Weren't you going for the gold? Even if it means you're a super gold spaz? Why'd you have to bring up that last part? Ah, uh, sorry. Not like I see you that way. It's just, that's your goal, right? I thought you wanted to do whatever it took to reach it. Okay. Well, yeah, of course that's my goal. I'm gonna keep on aiming higher and higher. So, but um... I just thought that the very first thing I wanted to do when we got out was to get a donut with you. With me? But I mean, we're together right now, right? Hmm. No, it's no good here. Because I mean, hmm. this isn't a good place to do another practice run. I want to do more day testing. More day testing? You still want to keep doing that? So, I remember um... what you said before. That's okay for me to be. That's okay for me to be me. I understand that. Yeah! Who am I right now is the best me there is. And a second later, that's the best me there is. Okay, so... Why do you want to keep doing these practice runs? Well... Well, how about if it's not a practice run? Would you go on a real date with me? Oh, jeez. Is Hina official waifu? Yeah, that sounds nice. Huh? Really? You really want to? Even if I'm, I'm all chomp chomp glump chomp on donuts all the time, you won't get grossed out? That's just who you are, right? If I said it was gross and you had to try and change it to make me happy, that wouldn't be any fun. You got it! Yeah, you're right. True love is when two people can be themselves and still have fun with each other. And I like who you are right now, too. Ooh. Ah, crap! I was gonna wait and say all that stuff on our date! <laughs> but that's just me, too, right? The blunt me. Without you, I never have the confidence to just be myself. Thank you. Yeah! So now you're gonna be by my side, like, all the time, right? No more than that. Together forever. No, more than that. Together- I'm sorry. Hina smiled when she said that was positively da- Positively dazzling. My reading sucks right now. No matter how dark things might get for me, as long as I have that smile by my side, I'll be okay. To me, it is the embodiment of that ray of hope. Yay, I got her panties. Or undergarments. Well, they're panties. 
Anyone else to like talk to? Of course. You would dum dum. I also gotta get my list for the rest of them here. Okay, so I finished with her. Let's let's do Junko. Well, suppose Junko and Oshima. Just to make sure. And get okay. I got it. Alright, I got it. I decided to talk with Junko one more time before we all left. I wonder if this is the last time we'll ever see this place. I haven't spent here to make it Okay, it's all the same shit. Junko, is everything okay? Hmm. Huh? Yeah, everything's fine. Why? And... You're the one who decided to come and talk to me, right? Oh, well, I just thought you seemed a little different than normal. If there's something bothering you, you can tell me. It would not be much, but I'd be happy to listen. Hmm. Makoto, if I, if, I said, if I said that we should stay here together, what would you do? What? Why would you say that? And... Don't worry about it, just tell me. What would you do? Just stay here with me? Hold on. Why would you want to stay here? I mean... Uh... Did you do want to search for a new dream? Yeah, here we go. Didn't you want to search for a new dream? After we get out of here? Hmm. You're right. But when you think about it, the idea of chasing a dream is just too vague. There's no substance to it. No clue what it even means. You just end up desperate and lost. And then everything you've done is a waste. Besides, before I even find what I'm looking for, the world might come to an end or something. The world might? What do you mean? Aww. Oh, relax. It's just a silly metaphor. But still, it's not like you get so scared imagining stuff like that. Huh? Huh? Scared? Me? That's how it seems to me. It's okay to get lost. It's okay to keep searching. That by itself is better than not even trying. You said that, remember? Why are you so scared now? And... Stop talking, Makoto. I'm not scared. Of course, I remember. I said it, didn't I? Hmm. I mean, sure. I do want to believe that there's something better waiting for me out there. Which is why... So then. Anyway, I have one more question. From this point on, no matter what happens, even if I don't seem like myself, will you stay by my side? I can feel her eyes boring into me. Someone. They feel different from the Junko I'm used to talking to. And seeing her standing in front of me, there's no doubt that she's the same friend I've come to know. What are you talking about? You've never been anyone but yourself. You're the same girl I've known all along. Who else could you be? Mm -hmm. Uh, well... <laughs> and... Hey, uh, Makoto, I don't understand a word you're saying, you know? Good. Yeah. But it's okay. I think I get what you mean. But are you sure about all this? I... I've always been dis a disappointment. At least according to her. But now I'm all alone. I just don't know what to do from here on out. You're not alone, Junko. You'll, I'll always be by your side. We can walk together searching for that dream. And if we get lost, if we run into trouble, we can do that together too. I'd like that. <laughs> Thank you, Makoto. But she still looked troubled somehow. All I wanted was to make her feel better, so without thinking I took her hand. Mm -hmm. Huh? She looked surprised. Then she gripped my hand in response. So tight it hurt. <laughs> when you look at me, when I feel your hand in mine, I know that I'm real. Junko. The Junko I'd seen before and the Junko I was seeing now. It was almost like there were two of her. I feel like she must have a secret, one she can't tell me just yet. No matter what it is, no matter what happens, I will never let go of her hand. On my own soul, I promise. Yay! Yay? Of course there's more I'd like to talk to. I don't even know how many parts the guys split this up into. Or it may I just make a really long, super duper ending part. Uh, I guess I'll save Kyoko for last. Taka! Let's see what Taka's all about. Alright then, what do we got? Taka! We're about to get out of here, but you don't look too happy about it. Hmm. Makoto! Don't laugh, okay? Huh? I'm scared! Here, we have structure, order, discipline. What's waiting for us out there? I don't see it as just escaping, you know? Could you say that as students were protected by the school? That's what I started thinking about while we were sealed up in here. I see. Graduating from high school and going in out into the world definitely takes courage. You hear me? But still, I know we can't just stand around here. I think I learned that here too. Taka. In other words, I still hate geniuses. That definitely hasn't changed. But other parts of me have changed. All that matters is that I keep pushing forward. I had it all wrong, you know? I always thought that showing emotion, showing concern or pain was a sign of weakness. That's not true at all. You taught me that. Quiet down and Thank listen. you, Makoto. You don't know how grateful I am. This place was strange, definitely, but I also learned a lot while I was here. I'm very happy. I'm right so now. glad I got to spend my time here. I feel the same way. 
Our time here was bizarre, that's for sure, but we built some good memories too. Which is why I had to believe this isn't the last time we'll see each other. Hey! Makoto! Huh? Do you hear me? I need you to promise me something. You do? Listen to Remember me! Remember what I told you before? About taking aim and doing our best together? S oh, um... Defeat the geniuses. Keep trying and the world will... Re re probably keep trying and the world will reward you. I don't think it's about defeating geniuses. That's kind of weird. But let's just verify what it is. It is... Keep trying... Yep, yeah, that's what I figured it was. Keep trying and the world will reward you. Keep trying your best and the world will reward you. Listen to me! That's right! I want you to help me achieve that. Wait, what? But that's just like a figure of speech, right? In other words... No, it's more than that. This world doesn't belong to geniuses. Try hard enough, your efforts will pay off. I'll see to that myself. And to do that, I've decided to become a politician. Oh, wow. His grandpa was a politician, so I'm sure he was. He has what it takes to become one, too. You understand? Why are you staying there like that? Like this doesn't concern you? You have to become a politician, too. I gotta get that cat scratching at my door, man. Together, we can advocate for my ideas and change this country. What? No way. There's no way I could become a politician. Totally impossible. I'll finish this first. In the face of effort, nothing is impossible. Ha 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 ha. Taka's face was shining with an inner glow. I saw then that no matter what darkness might stand before him, he would shine through it. He stood there smiling, talking about the future he was going to create. And then I realized it was one of the many shapes that Cope could take. Yay! Of course, he got the tidy whiteies. Okay, I gotta get that freaking cat. I don't know what he wants. Probably food or something. Okay, I had to skip a bunch of stuff, but I got back here. Actually, well, you might not even know that I did it anyway. I'll cut it. Uh, I actually said, I accidentally said no and didn't talk to Kyoko. But anyway, here I am with Kyoko. Get her. Th there we go. Alright. Let's talk to Kyoko. I don't think you can actually get the final ending, though, until later. I said I talked to Kyoko one more time before we left. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know. <laughs> Our life here has finally come to an end, and yet we weren't able to solve a single mystery. It is kind of a letdown. Maybe we can keep searching after we get out. Indeed. I have no intention of letting things end like this. Do you feel the same way, Makoto? Definitely. I want to know what happened here. And? But is that it? Do you remember what you said? If we want to trust each other, we need to get to know each other. Makoto. Do you still believe that? Do you want to trust me? Do you want to know me? Yes, of course. Correct. Okay, let's test you one more time. Huh? So then... We talked about this before, but what is it I'm afraid of? She's afraid that, that you've already lost. That's why... Right. What you've... Oh, what you've already lost. What you've already lost? Thank you. You do remember. Of course I remember. It's important to you, so it's important to me. Correct. I see. So to overcome that fear, I intend to keep to you searching for what it is I lost. What is it you lost? Sorry. You said you didn't want to talk about it anymore, huh? Indeed. Knowing that, do you still put, up, put your trust in me? What I'm asking is, you haven't given up on coming to know me, have you? I can't possibly imagine doing that. So then... Then, will you help me? Help me find what it is I lost? What? What? What's with that reaction? Was it really so unexpected? Not exactly, you just surprised me. I just figured you'd be focused on those people who you consider family. However... Well, either way, our interests align, don't they? If you want to win my trust, you'll need to be at my side always. I feel like, if I have you with me, I'll be able to find what I'm looking for. When she said that, she maintained her normal composed attitude. But earlier, for just a second, I thought I spotted an instant of emotion. I don't think I was imagining it when her cheeks showed a hint of red. Did I maybe get a quick peek behind the mask and get a glimpse of her real feelings? Hey. Why do you remain silent? Do you have an answer for me? Yes. I look forward to working with you. Indeed. Oh, there she goes again. I took Kyoko's gloved hands in mine. And someday, I'd like to find out what's under these gloves. I couldn't predict where my connection with Kyoko would lead me. It was impossible to say. But what I did know is that I had an unwavering desire to find out. And there's Kyoko's panties. How my school at the Hope's Peak Academy came to an end. And at this point... Yeah, okay, save the data now. Alright, so you cannot... Save it here. Okay, you cannot do the complete thing until you do everyone. So that's how you... Okay, so I'm going to continue on. I'm going to have to ignore what I said in the previous part because I do remember even though it was a while back. So I'm going to work more on it and continue recording when I get more of it pretty much. Because here it's going to start me at the beginning once again. Of course, skip the opening. 
All right, I'll see you again when I get to where I need to be. Until then. So I'm back here with a whole bunch of new people who I finished the trips with. I got five, which leaves five more. I'm hoping I could do it in one more run then. So I can only do like, well, one more run of this pretty much. Let's start with Hifumi. These were the easiest ones I could get done, truthfully. I decided to, I decided to talk to Hifumi one more time before we all left. Where this is the last time we'll ever see this place. The time we spent here didn't make much sense, but looking back, I can't say I didn't have fun. There are still some mysteries left. What is Monokuma, really? Why did we end up here? Actually, I actually have to drink some water because my throat, for some reason, is all itchy, which is never good. I still have the answers, but I'll have time to figure all that out once we escape. Ah, well, Finally, well. the day has arrived. We've been through so much, but now it's goodbye to Stink High. You look really happy, Hifumi. I very much am! How much time I we've lost being locked away in here? How many games have I missed? How many comics? How much anime has come and gone while I was in here? Yeah, an anime sometimes has a very short run. Just thinking about it. It makes me lose my appetite! It makes me feel like I'm gonna explode! Really? But there's still so many unsolved mysteries, like what was the deal with Monokuma? I... It's true. There's a lot we don't know. But it's not like we figured anything out while we were in here either. And a burp, that's amazing. It was small and away from the mic. And in the meantime, I haven't been able to make use of my talent at all. That's true. Now that you're free, you can go get back to work. Let's get out of here together. So it would seem. Absolutely. We've reached our goal and at the same time create a new starting line. Right, let's do this. Hmm. Oh, what's wrong? What happened? For your first question, yes, something is wrong. Oh yeah, I have to do a freaking thing. I should get this stuff up here. Uh, school mode. Danganronpa. Hifumi. I gotta answer one last thing for him. I forgot about that. Where's... There he is. Hifumi Yamada. All the way down to here. Hifumi's ending. Alright, got it. And what happened is that nothing happened. Mr. Naegi. Hope you do remember... You remember our promise. Promise? <laughs> so you don't remember? Remember that we agreed. When we get out of here? Um... Do you really not remember? What? No, I do, I do. Most suspicious. Hmm. Please stop staring at me. You're a creep. Uh... I'll join you as your friend. I'll join you and help you as your friend. You got That's right! You get to observe me as my closest friend, following my every footstep. And then you get to narrate my story to the entire fanfic world. It'll be your duty to pass my legacy on to future generations. Mr. Naegi! Which is why, Mr. Naegi, you'll serve as my assistant. Digital art is a new thing, so we don't have to worry about ink stains anymore. So it would seem. And with the digital age, I don't find myself drowning in manuscript anymore either. Nor will I have to worry about little pieces of screen tone flying this way and that. I do pride myself on my visual flair, though, so I still have to work as hard as ever. You know, Hifumi, I think I understand your feelings. I'm a total amateur, so I don't know what most of you, what you just said means, but I'm okay staying by you as your friend. <laughs> and don't hesitate. An opportunity like this is most rare indeed. And remember, yes, indeed. this isn't just about publicizing my creations, it's about recording the process. As my assistant and my historian, I will hold on to you forever. Hold on to me? Hey, I might have a problem with that. Here we go. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. I was just speaking metaphorically. Although I think all those yaoi fangirls out there would be totally into it. Oh, so, Mr. Naegi, be my assistant, be my true friend. And that was it. Fumi said all that with a shy look on his face, but he didn't turn away. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> then let's make it official. With that, we shook hands. I don't know what the future holds, but I know what I, to expect when it comes to the people here. Fumi has his own hope, and I have to think about how I can support him in that. For the first time since coming to school, a vivid image of the future filled my heart. And good damn it. Ugh. Ugh. I don't want that. Uh, yes, of course. Yes. Don't say no, or else I lose everything. Well, I guess we'll work on. Uh, Chihiro. Let's go right away to get to the tab for Chihiro. 
over here. Yeah, looking happy. Go down to the place I need. And let's just make sure you're still getting my... Good. All right. So Chihiro is next. Let's go do that dialogue. I'm going to skip it. So I talked to you one more time before we all left. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But I can't skip too much. Um... Will that device really let us escape? I'm sure of it. We just have to believe in Usami. <laughs> you seem really excited, Makoto. What? Is it that obvious? That's right. Yeah. I've never seen you with such a wonderful smile. I bet you have all kinds of stuff you want to do once you get out of here. I can feel that desire overflowing from you. Well, I'm sure you feel the same way, right? Mm. Chihiro? You know? I don't know. I don't know what I should do once we get out of here. I have a goal. I know what I want to become, but... What should I do? How to reach that goal? I have no idea. Well, that's the hardest part, Chihiro. Most of us don't even get it. Makoto, what should I do? Uh... Ah, I know this is the answer right away. Just let yourself get immersed in it. Just let yourself get immersed in it. That's right. Yeah, we talked about that, didn't we? I do feel like I'm starting to understand, but still. Listen, Chihiro, you don't need to rush things. Just keep your goal in front of you and move toward it, it at your own pace. Changing your outlook is good, but it's not as simple as rushing headlong towards something. It's okay for you to figure out the right speed to move at. Huh? Makoto? Even that means taking things slow, as long as you don't give up, you'll always be making progress. I see. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. I feel like maybe I'm not afraid anymore. That's good. I'm glad I could help. Uh, uh... Then, do you mind if I take my first step right here? If I don't do it now, I feel like once I get outside, I won't be able to do it. Of course I don't mind. But is it really something you can do right here? Yeah. Chiro closed her eyes, took a deep breath, and let it out slowly. And then... You know? I want to tell you something, Makoto. If you can, please don't be too surprised. Uh, this is where she confesses her, her his love. Uh, I... I... I'm a boy. Huh? What do you mean? You see, we already figured this out, so I guess this is technically when he's trying to, like, be brave. You know? Well, um... um I'm actually a guy. Uh, don't cry. Uh, uh, um, Makoto? What? Uh, oh, sorry. I scared you, didn't I? But I mean... Oh, God damn it. Sorry. Let's uh, throw it again. I didn't mishear you, right? You just said you're actually a guy? Yeah. I try to be more like you. Does it not suit me? It's not even about suiting you. I mean, since you're a girl... No! No. I mean it. I'm a guy. Um, listen. I don't know why now of all times you're trying to be funny. Oh, come on, Makoto. God damn it. Mm. You're right. It does seem like a joke, doesn't it? But, but, but it's the truth! Tears stood in his eyes, but his face was determined unwavering. Chihiro wasn't joking. That much was clear, but at the same time... Uh, uh, if you really want proof, you can go ahead and ch check... Oh god. Check? I mean, I obviously can, can't tell just by looking at you. Are you saying I should touch? I can't do that! What should I do? Uh, then... Hold on, Chihiro. Without warning, he grabbed my arm, yelled out, but he ignored me and... Whoa! Pushed my hand up against his chest. Oh, you meant the chest part. That's the oddest... Huh? But the shape, the form I'd expected to feel wasn't there. Uh, uh... Now do you believe me? Y yeah. I was still confused. So confused, but I nodded. Chihiro, he was a man. No different from me. Uh, I did sorry. surprise you, didn't I? Well, I'm surprised you're a boy, yeah, but I'm more surprised at how bold you were. Um... Well, that's... Oh, don't blush like that. It's just because I had to be. To become who I really am, have the strength to tell the world who I am, to reach my goal. You know? So I can tell you my story? From there, Chihiro explained how he had taken on the identity of a girl. He told me how he'd been teased for being so frail as a child and how that had affected him. He told me how he'd retreat into a feminine identity and embraced the assumed weakness of it. But, being here with everyone, talking to you so much, I, I, I decided that I wanted to... to change. I didn't want to be weak anymore. I didn't want to lie to anyone. I wanted to become my true self so that we could all become true friends. Chihiro. You know? So, Makoto, after hearing all that, it might just cause you even more trouble, but... Uh, um... Even though I pretend to be a girl, even though I've been lying to you this whole time, will you still be my friend? Yes, of course. Huh? You mean it? 
I respect your strength and your courage so much. What should I do? Respect? No, I'm not that strong. I don't think I could tell anyone else but you. Don't say that. Huh? You're stronger than anyone I know. It's hard for anyone to acknowledge their own weaknesses, don't you know? But you faced your weakness and you took steps to overcome it. So don't say you're not strong, because you are. Makoto. Thank you. Thank you. You're always there to encourage me like this. Whenever I get scared and want to stop, you're right there behind me, pushing me forward. You know? So, until I'm strong enough to be my true self in front of everyone, hope you'll be there to support me. Um... Maybe I'm just being naive, but... Can we keep spending time together like this? Just talk about whatever comes to mind? Absolutely. We're friends, right? You can talk to me about anything, whenever you want. And I feel like I can talk to you about anything, so there's no reason we can't stay close. I'll be counting on you too, okay? Okay. We may not always be there for each other individually, but we still have to all work together. We know we're not alone, which helps us work harder even when we are alone. And embracing that hope, we take we take step after step into the future. It's like bloomers. Right? Chihiro's favorite bloomers, yes indeed. Yes, I will talk. Even if you peek under his skirt, you wouldn't be able to glance at that he was a boy. Oh, that's why you chose bloomers. Because it'd be hard to tell there was a junk in a trunk. Well, I guess I'll do Leon then. Hey, Leon. You freaking number. Yeah, go down to his choice. Alright, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do it! Hell yes! Finally, we're getting our asses out of here. None of this made any damn sense, but it's over. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean. But man, what the hell was Monokuma's deal? I guess I originally came here to, you know, go to school. But I didn't want to go here anymore so anyway, so whatever. Really? Huh? What? You don't believe me? No, it's not that. Seems like... But graduating from here is like being on the winning team, right? Why would you want to throw that away? Hey, you bastard! Oh, well, I already decided. I'm gonna... Go back to playing baseball. You know... Does that make me lame? No, not at all. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> Thanks. I just got got to beg my old team for forgiveness. Leon looks really happy. Because he didn't die. There's something I'm worried about. Oh, by the way, can I just say one thing? Huh? Sure. What's up? Uh, what about singing is the answer for this one? I'm assuming not, but are you going to keep singing? Huh? Yeah, of course. What, did you think all I was going to do for now while I was play baseball? Uh, well, it's not like I doubt your dedication. I just thought it'd be really hard to focus on baseball and singing at the same time. Stupid! Don't you understand exactly why I have to do both? Huh? You know what I mean. An athlete can only play for so long, you know? Even as the ultimate baseball star. I know I won't be able to play for the rest of my life. Yeah! But when you're a star player, you have the chance to go on talk shows and stuff, right? Pitch for a while, then go on to become the ex-baseball star who's totally famous, who's a totally famous singer now. It's a totally new approach, huh? Yeah, it's new, that's for sure. <laughs> right? Not just a baseball player, and not just a singer. It's an all-new approach, just for me. But you know, the only reason I was able to figure out this new approach is because you were there to listen to me all those times. That's what I think anyway. That's my Leon imitation, by the way, it's pathetic. But I didn't do anything. Hey, listen. Come on, don't say that. Alice says, Shuichi, you're getting a huge thanks from a future superstar. Just accept it. Leon was grinning from ear to ear. He was beaming. Okay then, I accept. Let's do it. Nice! Seriously, Makoto, thank you. I'm sure that from now on, no matter what challenges Leon might face, he'll conquer them all. His smiling face standing there with me, talking about the future. That's an unforgettable symbol of our hope. Yay! His was short too. And he's got like, what is this? Uh, sport, sportive, supportive sports under ruse. Under ruse. Of course, it's worth it. I want to talk to. You. That is for sure. There's only two more, really. Let's go get to. Uh, there you are, Hagakure. Yes, I will talk to you. Oh yeah, I gotta go all the way down though. I can't just go on the page. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we can finally get out of here. Pretty awesome, huh, Makoto? Y yeah. You know? We s we're, we're s we'll still be pretty busy once we're out. Remember what you gotta do. Uh, give me your... Or give you my organs? 
Huh? What do I have to do? Uh, attend that seminar is the answer. Learn how to tell fortunes to track down the Uparts. Attend that seminar? Yo! Bingo! You remember. Not that I wanted to, but... You know? You just gotta attend that one little seminar. Well? And then we gotta find our collective baby's mom and raise all our kids together. I seriously don't want to be involved in that. You know? Doesn't matter. The vision came to me, and so there's nothing we can do about it. Once you and me are, uh, blood brothers, then I can show you my Uparts collection. If they haven't already been stolen anyway, I'm sure they'll all be fine. I don't think anyone would want that stuff. But why do we need to raise our kids together? Uh why? For the sake of their mother. Okay, so since I won't give you my organs or my identity, you don't care about me? For serious? Well, How about that? just keep taking care of yourself. Stay with me, and then... <laughs> what? Shoot! Did I say that out loud? Hey, joking, joking. Just my little joke. <laughs> you can't just laugh that off. <laughs> Sorry! I guess I'm too just too honest. Seriously, though, I'd like you to stick around. Huh? You know? I've shown you... You show me that even when you hear my true feelings, you don't abandon me. You just, you know, take me how I am. Well? Having you around is a way for me to talk, for me to like, reaffirm my existence. I hate that's that anime, I gotta put my finger under my nose thing. That's how much you mean to me. I see. Hero kinda lives at his own pace, so it's probably hard for him to open up to other people. I wonder if he even realizes himself what he's looking for. For serious? Plus, he just sacrifice himself in order to secure my future. I said no. I mean, jeez, Makoto. After all we've been through, you're still so sub, still, still so sub stubborn. I can't talk apparently. Is everything he said just a lie to get me to do what he wants. I can't trust the word he says. But even so, that's still the true hero. I don't know what the future holds, but I know what to expect when it comes to the people here. The hero does have hope of, of his own. I have to think about what I can do to help him react, reach it. For the first time since coming to this school, a vivid image of the future filled my heart. Of my organs being taken from me. Bikini briefs. God damn it, hero. Yes, of course. The last one is Toko I have for this one, and then I gotta go and do a whole bunch of other stuff. Yep, there's only Toko left now. I have five more. I hope I can get them done. If some of them are easy, it'll give me leeway. Alright, this should be fun. What's Jeez, your problem? What's everyone so happy about? Huh? Why shouldn't we be happy? How can you stand there acting all carefree like nothing's wrong? You're acting like everything's just fine, but we didn't solve any of the mysteries here. Maybe, but right now I'm focused on what comes next. We all have things we want to do once we get out. Oh yeah, for example, you got that new novel to publish, right? Uh. What novel? You know, the one you showed me. It's totally different from anything you've done before. I think everyone's going to be really surprised. And it's really good. I'm sure everyone's going to love it. Why are you getting so excited? I have no intention of publishing it. Huh? Why not? You were so excited about it, you said you how you wanted to keep working on it. So what happened? Did you hit another slump? Oh yeah, I also have to go down to the freaking... I always forget, I don't know why. So I can get the good option. Don't steal my lines. I don't know why you're acting so surprised. It's my story, and my decision. There's no reason for you to be surprised or to care about it at all. But... We're friends, that's the answer. We're friends. We're friends. It's only natural to care about them, to get excited for them. <laughs> Maybe. I did say something like that, didn't I? When you're in a slump, it's supposed to be your f friends that cheer you up. They're gonna have a friend eventually in Komaru. That's right. If you're having trouble writing new stories, I'll cheer you up. Then, <laughs> help me right now. Okay, what do you want me to do? Uh, for now, I'm not going to publish the novel. But why not? Come on, let me finish, okay? Sorry, I'm not going to stop writing or anything. But I'm not sure if I can write like I used to. Because of you, you, I'm losing my power of delusion. I can feel it going dark. What, because of me? Because of how much attention you've been giving me. I don't have time for my delusions. You have to take responsibility for what you did. But what am I supposed to do? You want me to, like, come up with a more delusions for you? Are you stupid? Why would I ever want any of your delusions? Okay, so what can I do? Well... Oh god, you can stay with me and... And together we... Er, I... I'm, I'm asking you to be with me! What? 
Do I really need to spell it out for you to understand? Or do you want me to say it, demon? No, that's not it. Uh, I'm telling you. I can't have my delusions anymore because you generally want to spend time with me. Even though I kept doing things wrong, saying the wrong things, you, you never ran away. But I'm sure you'll say no if we stay together eventually. I'll stay with you, I promise. Huh? We're friends, right? So if that's what you need, I'm there for you. No, actually, what I mean is, not just as a friend, but... <laughs> a little breast to actually say it out loud. <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> then. You don't have to say it. Some things do need to be said, but... Sometimes, it's tough to have the thought in your heart, right? I'm confused by the way that's going on. Y yeah. But still... You made a promise, right? I'm not gonna forget. Don't worry, I'll keep my promise and listen. Maybe I'll go back to writing romance novels. Someday, I want to read that story. What the heck? What the heck indeed. You really are a fool. Did you already forget what a novel... What an I novel is? Huh? I novels are based on their author's experiences, right? Does that mean you're gonna start writing about a romance between us? <laughs> what? Makoto? Your disgusting delusions are completely prohibited. My stories are t tales of true love. Got it, but is this acceptable? As I said that, I put out my hand. She stared at it for a long time. <laughs> I s suppose this is probably how ch chapter one would end. Finally, she took my hand. I locked into her eyes and saw something I'd never seen there before. The light of happiness. Someday, I think we'll become closer than mere friends. We'll truly understand each other. Someday, we'll both laugh together from the bottom of our hearts. And that concludes everyone. There's her panties! Actually, probably Genocide Jack's favorite, apparently. Reinforced elastic and loops to hold her deadly scissors. Nice. That's how my school life of Hope Speak Academy ended. Blah, blah, blah. It's gonna restart from the beginning, so I'll see you with the next group of people. I know I'm gonna edit this all together. Yes, I'll save it. Uh, I might as well save it over here. Sure, whatever. I'll meet you at the next group of people. So here I am, at the end of school mode. I'm going to start with Biafia. Because I have this thing open first. Let's talk with him a little bit. So I to talk to Byakuya one more time before we all left. I wonder if this is the last time we'll ever see his place. Yeah, okay, I know about that. I've read it so many times. So our time has come to an end. Still, I have no intention of leaving things as they are. In the name of my I will family. find out why we all got caught up in this deplorable situation. After all, I am the chosen. Uh no, that's Colette. My Togami name demands total victory. What are you thinking? What was Monokuma's true identity? And what was he trying to accomplish here? In this case, victory means exposing those truths. Well, for me, it's not about winning or anything. I just need to know. I have to know why we had to go through something like this. Such ignorance. So, what? You expect me to come running to you with any details I might happen to dig up? Or are you to ask me for a tip of that? Wait, I... I don't have time. I really want to know the truth. If you really want to win, you must earn it for yourself. Okay, but there's no way I can do this by myself. <laughs> Listen, Makoto, do you plan to help me or what? What? Don't make me. I'm asking you myself. your your intentions are. Are you going to help me punish whoever is responsible for this? Hold on. Why me? Uh, I'm just another normal person. I'm just another normal person. You told me never to talk to you again, right? That's fine. It is annoying to admit it, but the time I spent here has made me realize one thing. What was it? Hmm. The more time I spent with all of you, the more I saw just how ignorant you all are. I spent my entire life learning how to lead. The way you live is incomprehensible to me. But because I don't understand it, Such it ignorance. might be good for me to keep an ordinary person like you around to explain it to me. There is no point in trying to understand the foolish ideas of the masses myself. Okay, so you want me to be your secretary? It's all clear. With a promised salary. Fifty five hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. Damn! And if that's not good enough, I'll gladly pay you more. Do we have a deal? He phrased it as a question, but it had the unmistakable feel of a command. Even though we'd become closer, I could still feel that distance between us. Well, hurry up and answer, you clod. Um, well, the salary part doesn't really matter. What do you think? What do you mean? Do you not want to be paid? I mean, regardless of that, I want to help you. So I'll do my best, Biakia. That's fine. One mistake and you're fired. Understand? I made my decision. I taken control of the direction of my life and it led me to Biakuya. Now my goal is to show Biakuya the way I live can bring some ha someone happiness. For the first time since coming to this school, a vivid image of the future filled my heart. Alright, I got his Andy Wendy's. I guess next I'll go to Mondo since he is close to uh, 
Byakuya. That'll be, uh... I'll do it in order of as they appear. Of course there's people left to talk to. I would never say no. Yes, we will talk to everyone. Hi, Mondo. And we'll go through this usual stuff here. Skip it. It's almost time. We're almost free. Yeah. Hey. Now I can get back out on my hog. Damn, man. She must be so lonely. Hell yeah. I'll have to take extra good care of her once I get back. So are you going to go back to the crazy diamonds then? Yeah. Mm, I told you, didn't I? I After everyone yeah, the ganks just... graduates, I'll have a new go. Um, his new goal is to become a carpenter. You're going to become a carpenter, right? Yo. Right. I've destroyed so much stuff, man. Now it's time to start creating it. It was tough oh. for me to admit at first. Now I don't even care if you laugh at me. I'm not gonna laugh. Ain't that right. You're a hell of a guy, Makoto. Oh, I know. Yo. Once I become a world-class carpenter, I'll come and build you a kick-ass house. Better look forward to it. That sounds awesome. I'll be waiting. It's a place for my best friend to live, so I'm gonna give it everything I've got. So till then, don't buy a house, okay? Wait, what? But that's it? Huh? Yeah, what else is there? Jesus Christ. What, do you think I can't become a fucking awesome carpenter? No, not at all. I know you can do it. Hell yeah. Damn straight. All right. Then it's a promise. A man's promise. Yo. Whatever it takes. I'll become a freaking amazing carpenter and build you a freaking amazing house. Mondo thrust out his hand. I held out my own and he gripped it tight and gave it a powerful shake. We can't know what's waiting for us out there. But as long as we have hope, we'll have a future. All right. Cool. I got a free house out of Mondo. I think next to them might be Sayaka. Well, I'll do her next then. Of course. Yes, talk. Finish with everyone. Get their moments. I should scroll down to the bottom, though. Alright. Well, it was Sakura, technically, but... Well, technically, Sayaka. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll talk, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's finally time. But it took so long just to get here. You mean, to the gym? <laughs> no, silly. What I mean is, we're finally ready to leave Hope's Peak... We're finally ready to leave Holt's Peak Academy. Right, sorry. Um, no, it's okay. I'm sure what I'm saying doesn't make any sense. Um, but what I'm feeling it? doesn't make much sense either. I feel like so many miracles had to happen for me to get out of here. I can't explain the sen sensation, but... <laughs> why? Sayaka. Uh, I feel the same way. I feel the same way. You know, I'm really happy to get to be here with you. <laughs> me too. For so long, I... I've been waiting for the day when you and me could meet and walk down the same path together. But in the end, I decided that fate had decided we wouldn't be together. That's good. And yet here you are, standing right next to me. So many miracles have come together to allow me to be where I am. I... But the whole time, I completely, abs I completely, absolutely believed it would turn out this way. Do you know why? I wish I could say I did. Um, because of the promise you made that we would get out of this together. What? I said that? <laughs> no, not exactly. Huh? Then... I sensed you making a promise. Some ver version of you. The things you said. We'll get out of here. Whatever it takes. Absolutely. I heard you say it all. Wait, wasn't that during the game? Ah. Yeah, this part. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens? Then I'll get you out of here myself. No matter what it takes. That's what I was thinking. That's, yeah, made a reference to the game. What was that? That conversation ever actually happened? No, but somehow you remember? Me and you? I... That's why I had faith. I knew that until we reached this future, you would never give up. I'm so happy. So, thank you. I'm happy now. So happy. A single tear rolled down Sayaka's face. That's not a single tear, whatever. You know, I think I made another promise too. Sayaka said she would be my assistant. And I promised that we would work together to get out of this school. But I... I... Sayaka? Sorry. Uh, um... Why are you apologizing? You didn't do anything wrong. No, I did. I made you wait for so long. I definitely have to apologize for that. I'm sorry for making you wait. <laughs> Makoto, I knew you were going to say that. What? You see. You knew every. I knew everything. I knew you would never give up until it was all over. That's why I was able to get through this. Why it didn't hurt. Like I said, Cause I'm, I'm psychic. Because I'm psychic, you know. I was nearly blinded by Psycho's smile. 
Whatever problems I might run into from now on, as long as I have her with me, everything will be okay. If there were any miracles, it wasn't because of me. It was because of her and everyone else. Two more left. Panties! I don't know why I had to say that. Of course. Never say no. I did that once by accident, and I don't have a save close by. Alright, let's do Sakura then. Because she's right there. Get down to what I need to answer. There we go. Sakura! Get through this text once again. Hmm. Hear all that clicking, of course. We've reached the end, but I can't say I'm totally satisfied. I know what you mean, but at least we're finally free. If things stayed like they were, you'd never be able to continue your training, right? Of course. Indeed. I can feel the absence of strength I lost in here. I need to gain it all back again. Which means I must now train even harder. Living here must have been really hard for you. However... Oh no, not at all. It was uncomfortable at times, but my time here has given me another sort of strength. Another sort of strength? Mmm, it was mental fortitude. Mental fortitude? Of course. That's right. You taught me the importance of withstanding difficulties like this. If I'd never come here, if I'd never met you, I never would have gained that kind of invisible strength. Aren't you exaggerating a little? However... No, not at all. I truly believe it. <laughs> before we leave Makoto, I wanted to talk to you about something. As I told you before, I've sworn to defeat Kenshiro and prove that I am the strongest human alive. When I fight him, I'd like you to be there as our witness. What? Me? Mm. Normally we would not need a witness for such a battle. I know that neither he nor I would try to deceive or cheat each other. Then why? I'm a total amateur, right? Having me there would be totally meaningless. Well... No. There would be meaning in it. Even if only for me. For you? However... I want you to see me defeat him. Not be just because I want to earn that title. I... <laughs> I want to put an end to the matter of my attraction to him. And then I can ask you. So in the no, end... I can't talk about that yet. Not until I'm finished with him. Whoa, wait, hold on. Hmm. But you can grant me my wish, right? But can you grant me my wish? Yes, of course. I answered Sakura reply with a shy smile. I'm sorry. Thank you, Makoto. Truly. It was the pleasant smile of a young girl. I could feel the strength of our bond. And that bond is unbreakable. Ooh, well, I guess it's kind of a traditional Japanese style, I guess, sumo type of undies. And last but not least will be Celestia Ludenberg. Or yes, a hero? Eh, whatever. I don't remember. Yes, one more. The last one. The final of the endings. It's like you can't see anyone. Oh, hi, Celestia. Text once again. Are you okay Makoto, with this? do you remember my dream? To realize that dream, <laughs> I will allow you to give me all of yourself. At last, things are ready to begin. Sorry, but what are you talking about? Oh. You don't have to play dumb. You do not have to pretend to be shy anymore. <laughs> From now on, you may serve me as my knight. I'm granting you the opportunity to obtain true peace of mind. I know it's a bad accent. Go ahead. You may rejoice. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty happy right now. Well... How very modest of you. <laughs> well, that is fine. Let's see... By the way, you obviously know our next destination after we leave this place, yes? Destination? It would be a European castle. You wanted to buy a European castle, right? <laughs> you I knew you'd remember. You truly are worthy of serving as my knight. Perhaps it's time to consider promoting you to B rank. What? <laughs> Perhaps it's time to consider promoting you to B rank. Uh, huh? <laughs> Perhaps it's time to consider throwing you to B rank. Thank you? <laughs> Naturally. However, you should not thank me just yet. Bear in mind that your promotion depends on the work you put in from this point forward. Got it. As for me... My dream. To live in a European castle and collect beautiful butler slash bodyguards from around the world and dress them like vampires. Then I will spend the rest of my life worshipping such beauty in my world of decadence. This is fine. Now then, Makoto. Please begin making our preparations immediately. Huh? I have to do it? Let's see. Graduating from Holt's Peak was a guarantee... Would, was to guarantee me a lifetime of successes. That was how I intended to raise the funds I would need. But unfortunately, that no longer appears to be an option. Oh, but doing what you asked isn't as easy as you make it sound, you know. Indeed. Perhaps, but it is not impossible. With you standing next to me, I am certain. 
Plus there's a solid grasp on her hope for the future. What's in the dream all what's in the dream is all over the place, but she was shining so bright I thought I might go blind. <laughs> Remember, this is your master's dream. As such you should consider it your dream as well. <laughs> now let us depart. Onward toward the day we stand atop our castle together. Sus held out her hand to me. Trying my best to assume the role of knight, I took it with as much respect as possible. I don't know what the future holds, but I know what to expect when it comes to people here. Plus has high expectations, so I have to think hard about what I can do to live up to them. For the first time since coming to this school, a vivid image of the future filled my heart. And it's done. Dark-hued panties, apparently. <laughs> a C rank can't bear them, so at least I'm at B rank. School life came to an end. And... School's out forever. I guess that's it. I guess there's no other ending. Alright, well, that's it then. It's done. I thought there'd be an extra ending, but apparently not. So, that completely ends school mode. Trigger Happy Havoc is now done. I'm going to edit everything all together and render it and upload it at some point. Thanks for those who have followed along with Trigger Happy Havoc with me for this entire time, if you have. i got to work on Danganronpa 2 now, the extra stuff. Which I'll do when I have time. It's the last sections that really, really are hard to get through. But until next time, people, thanks for watching along with me, and I shall see you whenever it is in whatever Let's Play I'm doing. So until then, so long.